Pterygium is a degenerative disorder of the conjunctiva, frequently related to outdoors activities and sun exposure. Many ophthalmologists are not willing to perform the pterygium surgery for many reasons. Some consider it too small of a procedure, a surgery for residents and beginners, not to mention the low reimbursement rates. And the post-operative complications as Delin? Conjunctival granuloma. A recurrence and the surgical technique itself with many sutures. Conjunctival autograft with fibrin glue is the standard technique of pterygium surgery. But a graft with a thick tenons capsule, or an excessive amount of tenons as in this case, can impair the outcome, increase the rate of graft detachment, and increase the recurrence rate. That's because the conjunctiva is not always well separated from the tenons capsule during the autograft harvesting. How can we separate the conjunctiva from the tenon to get a very thin conjunctival graft? Moscovici et al. described a technique using air to harvest the conjunctival graft. Here we can see the dissection with air. And here the pterygium dissection. with only minimal use of cautery. It makes possible a very thin conjunctival graft. At last, a special large diameter contact lens is used as a bandage to ensure patient comfort post-operatively. This is a hydrogel contact lens with 21 millimeters of diameter. Day one post-op, no complaints, quiet eye, happy patient, and we can see that the superior conjunctiva donor area is almost invisible. Terry Bubble differs from Moscovici's technique by using a 34 gauge needle, ensuring a thin graft in all cases. The Terry Bubble consists of air injection with a TSK needle, dissection, and placement of a special CL. In this patient, we can see the air dissection of the graft and pterygium. Here we see the very thin conjunctiva being dissected. As the lens has a large diameter, the assistant may help the surgeon to place it over the ocular surface. How to get a bubble with a thin conjunctival graft in every case. The 34 gauge needle should be bent. Insert it pulling it up to separate the conjunctivu from the tenon. The plunger should be pushed steadily. And remember to avoid multiple small injections. And there we have another perfect bubble. Be aware that the use of a large gauge needle may lead to a sub bubble instead of a subconjunctival bubble. As we can clearly see in this OCT. So what can we expect from Terry Bubble in terms of results? Extremely happy patients as well as a fast and comfortable procedure. Outstanding cosmesis, white eyes, and a recurrence rate that nears zero.
At post-op day 15, the fellow or most recently operated eye looks quiet with minimal inflammation. Pterygium treatment has changed. Now we have happy doctors and happy and smiling patients.